What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead. Told you guys, man, today I'm trying to get out as much of these TV shows as possible. Um, cuz I don't want you guys to feel slighted. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it may feel like I've been neglecting the TV shows on the channel, but really it's not like that. It's just that anime is a little bit easier to do. Plus at the current moment, um, I would say that the anime is the anime. There's one anime in particular that I'm watching that is that I'm enjoying the most right now on the channel. Um, not to say that I'm not enjoying the rest of the shows on the channel that I'm watching, but that one is just in it's it's just moments after moments after moments right now. One of the most incredible, the most well-written incredible arcs in all of anime that i'm watching right now so i'm digging it i'm loving it um so don't feel bad it's just how it is right now <laughs> anyways um here we are season three episode two of the walking dead last episode beginning of the season very good very good episode um as i said man um they um, some people were saying in the comment section on the last video, a lot of people were saying, man, um, you know, um, the reason why Rick is upset with Lori is because of this and because of that. Listen, guys, plot points need to be explained. You can't leave plot holes in your story because then... The reason why I love when things are well written out and it's not just... I'm, just imagining what happened. Like, I hate when I have to do that. I have to imagine what happened between a se between what happened last season and in the beginning of this season. Like, there is no indication of Rick to be this upset with Lori to the point of ignoring her and she's, like, about to have, a, have the baby. Like, there's no indication of that. We're talking about... Lori was not even showing at the end of season two. She wasn't even showing. So we're talking about seven, eight months down the line, maybe even to the point of nine months because she's about to have the baby in like a couple of days, right? That time span, we're just to assume what happens. Then she's saying that even Carl hates her. Like... Come on, guys. Like, come on, man. Storytelling is not that hard. And it's, I hate, as I said, I hate when writers do that. Yes, we're establishing a timeline through her pregnancy. We understand it's months down the line. But there has to be some sort of explanation. Let them have a conversation that explains why, the, why Rick, why Rick is upset with Lori. Not why... We understand that at the end of last season, Lori was upset with him because he killed Shane, even though I was saying it makes no damn sense because she was the one instigating it in the first place, right? So there's no explanation. He, he was still reaching for her. He was still trying to reach out to her at the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? And he just went AWOL with the whole dictatorship business, right? So... Um, is is it a result of him being so gung ho about saving the group and having this dictatorship mentality? Guess what? You'll never know because it's not being explained. <laughs> so I'm not going to assume. As I said, a lot of people agree with me that they should, that, you know, there should be some sort of explanation there. Um, but there was a few people who was trying to say that it's this and it's that. I'm not saying that we can't assume there is no explanation for it. And don't tell me there is because there's not. Okay. We can all assume that it's, that is something. And when you leave it up to assumptions, when you leave things like that up to assumptions and there is no explanation, if there is no explanation going forward, as I said, we're still, it's still only episode two, two we're going to be watching now. It's still, we're still early in the season. So if there's no explanation throughout the whole season of this so-called plot point or plot hole, I should say, right, then they lose points. I'm just being honest. They lose points. And I know 
some of you guys are going to disagree. Some of you are going to agree. Um, but it is what it is. It's just how I feel about it. And I hate when writers do that. You know, when, yes, you can leave us to assume to a certain point, but you need to come back and fill that plot hole somehow, some way. If you don't see that a plot hole, that just goes to show you about, you know, your writing. Let's just be honest. But this is a lot of people's favorite season. How it ended was incredible with them cutting Herschel's leg off. Oh, my God. And then those dudes just pop up in the background like that was crazy. Uh, but great things, man. Hopefully they get out safe and nobody loses their life. Now they have more help, it seems. Um, how long have these guys been down there? You know what I mean? Like all of those questions. Well, anyways, man, we're going to jump into this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching the intro. If you did leave a like, okay, leave a like, highly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys right back here for the review. All right. So season two, episode season three. Episode 2, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, man, that was an incredible episode. An incredible episode, meaning the suspense, the not knowing what the hell is going to happen with these new prisoners, which they lost, the majority of them got killed because of that one crazy one. He, he He's definitely... A murderer. He was a murderer. He's in for murder. Definitely. The way how he killed that guy with no mercy. A guy that's he's been eating, sleeping, drinking with for all this time. And dude just killed him with no hesitation. Like everybody else was like was hesitating, trying to figure out a way. Maybe they could lock him in a cell or something. You know what I'm saying? And and you know what I'm saying? I know he's infected, so he needed to go, but still the the one hit to the head you know, poke to the head was enough, but the dude just kept going, rah, rah, rah. you know what I'm saying, like, ugh, overkill much, anyways, man, um, that dude, he needed to go, I really didn't expect Rick to kill him like that, I mean, machete to the head, ooh, you know what I'm saying, he, he, he definitely needed to go, he purposely pushed that walker onto Rick, could have gotten him scratched or bitten, so he needed to go. Um, the black guy that he left out into the, the yard with the walkers. I don't know. I don't think he deserved to go out like that. But Rick, I think there was a conspiracy. Like they talked and was like, oh, we need to get rid of this guy. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Oh, whatever. Um, that other white guy that was like, oh, I love my pharmaceuticals, and the other guy was in for breaking and entering, which is not that, they're not violent crimes, so, um, breaking and entering could potentially be violent if it's, you know, like, if you're armed, you know what I'm saying, but if you're just breaking into people's houses, stealing stuff, it's not considered a violent crime, so, it, it could escalate into violence, though. And you could get shot <laughs> by the owner. Are you deciding to, you know, do armed robbery with along with the breaking and entering? So, this episode pretty cool, man. Um, at least we got a little bit of insight on Rick and Lori's plot hole being filled a little bit there. So I get a little bit of understanding of why they at why they at they are at arms with one, with one another. Right. So it's more of like Lori wants to make up, but but Rick doesn't want to because he's like you. It's kind of like she's she was acting innocent in 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 the um in the Shane stuff. And I guess that's why he didn't like that. And so he was like, oh, so so you instigated this. And then when I do it, you want to you know, what I'm saying you want to shove me off. You know what I'm saying? And, and be at arm's length with me? Like, come on. I only did... I mean, how many times? Like, he really had no choice but to kill. Shane forced... Literally forced Rick to kill him. Literally. So, I can't say in any point... As I said, man, it's not... I think the show needed somebody like Shane. 
But at the same time, am I sad that he's dead? No, I'm not. Because he, you guys know for a fact he wasn't my, by far, my not my favorite character in the show. Um, so, um, but I do think the show needed that. But now, in, in some ways, you know what I'm saying, Rick has kind of become a little bit like Shane, leading the group for for this season so far um and i can see a little bit of that that it, but he has remorse about it shane no remorse about anything that he did but you can see that rick he wasn't a hundred percent cool with the idea of leaving that guy out there to die among the walkers so you know at least he still has a heart you know so um herschel being saved almost thought he died in the episode to be honest i thought he he died he stopped breathing he did um then he woke up i thought he was but carl was ready <laughs> you know what i'm saying carl needs to calm himself down i don't like I, I don't care if you claim that you hate your mom or tell your mom to lay off bruh you you lucky you're not getting smacked okay you need to settle down you're still a little boy calm yourself down yes it's apocalypse you get a gun now you can't be talking to your mom like that, no matter what. I don't care how upset you are at your mother. You do not lash out like that in front of people, for that matter. I'm glad that Beth Beth was the one that said it to him because in some ways, I don't, he's not going to turn around and start hating her because that's his crush at the moment that he has a crush on Beth. So I'm glad that they used Beth to tell him that because maybe from some sort of respectful angle he can understand what's real what's really what she was trying to say to him like what in his truth and the truth hurts and he walked away so um so that's basically the situation man um carol is out here trying to figure out how to do a c-section and there's some there's somebody peeping i don't know who's peeping but it ain't a walker because walkers don't peep so it, it's got to be somebody that's alive that probably noticed that she's doing it, trying to figure out how to do a C-section on a walker. So, you know, things are progressing. Things are progressing. And I'm, 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 I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, I can't say I disagree with certain things that is happening um, with anything that is happening right now. Um, it's more of survival people keep popping up new people keep popping up i'm wonder if if it's um if it's andrea and and the other lady with i'm wondering if it's them that's peeping on carol it could be could end up being um we didn't see them in this episode um so we're definitely looking forward to seeing them again of course um but this is a pretty crazy episode man a nice chill episode but at the same time a little bit of crazy there with the prisoners and stuff so um man they do not listen as much as rick was them stick together don't veer off on the group don't break formation and they just don't listen <laughs> they just don't feel like they need to listen and i don't understand like you know in your brain you should be thinking how did these guys survive this long they must know they must know how to stay alive so follow them i mean you know what I'm saying? I, you know, <sighs> kids, <laughs> Carl, I mean, why did he go off? You know what I'm saying? Why did he go off? But I'm, I'm glad that, you know, he was put in his place. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, there's not much to divulge and go into in depth here. I'm glad that they tried to fill the plot hole a little bit in this episode here. Um, so thank you guys for watching as always. If you guys watch the review, man, I highly thank you guys. Leave a comment in the com comment section. Also, leave a like if you have not done so already. Um, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.